I'm Chito Rupisan. I'm Rose Rupisan. Both retirees of more than 30 years. Nag-apply kami sa NLCOM two years before pandemic. I decided to join NLCOM when I was attending the YA Connect service. I was really moved when Pastor Paul Chase message about passing the baton. They did their part and it is our time now. God has given us a heart to share the blessing that He has for us. We would like to bring back what has God given to us to uh, other uh, people. So that's why Louie and I decided to join and commit to NLCOM. God used NLCOM to be a blessing for us. We are all frontliners in the family, but it's quite difficult for us for one transportation available, for we are assigned in different areas and different schedules. Four months after lockdown, the blessing of the Lord came. We have now a brand new car! Nakita namin ang purpose ni Lord sa vehicle ng ito at ginamit para mag-deliver ng mga relief goods sa mga church members na affected ng pandemic. My story is I was from the Middle East for seven years and then I went home looking for the hardest thing that we always need, which is a peace of mind. And I found it through new life and serving God through NLP. I know this year will be full of surprises. Be it low or on top, I will still do my best to serve God. These highs and lows will be my family testimony this year. Just like Pastor Nelly preached, these testimonies will be passed down to people who might need it someday. Literally, I passed through the valley of death. I've undergone uh, four operations, and this is the fifth time that I have it. For the last uh, September 20, 22, I had my uh, total knee operation, and I uh, got over with it. In spite of uh, what we have uh, gone through, and I have gone through, we did not stop believing, and instead, we served God more. And God, God is, is not, not done, done with us, us yet. Kami po ay nagpapakain na mga bata sa Binondo, Tondo, at Lamputas. We also repack relief goods for the typhoon victims and other calamities. In the midst of pandemic, we plan to retire early. It is time to serve the Lord, and it's great to serve the Lord. There will be times that you will feel like you don't have anything to give, but I believe that will be the perfect time to give something, be it your effort, your talent, your time, and even your prayers. As a trained professional chef, I cook. I cook here in the food truck. We serve food for the kids and I love what I do.